Okay, class. So, uh, adjusted trial balance is finished. Financial statements is finished. Now we're going to discuss closing entries and post-closing trial balance. Ito yung uh, third and fourth, uh, last four steps. Okay, tapos na ito by the use of the 10-column worksheet. Now let us discuss closing entries and post-closing trial balance. Ano bang closing entries? Closing entries are journal entries made at the end of the accounting period to zero out the nominal accounts, income statement accounts. Ang ibig sabihin is zero out. Okay? And then, accounts to be closed. Revenue, income, and gain accounts. Lahat na may credit balance, iko close. Then, expense and loss accounts. Accounts with debit balances. So, lahat ng ating income statement accounts, dapat maklose natin yan. To close the nominal accounts, the following temporary accounts can be used. Income and expense summary. Ito yung ginamit natin. Pwede rin gamitin other than income and expense summary. Pwede rin ang account na gamitin revenue and expense summary or plainly in plain income summary. Okay? Okay, class. Ito ang pwede natin gamitin but we have used income and expense summary so yan ang gagamitin natin. The balance of the temporary account is transferred or closed to owner's capital. Kung nagkaroon ng balance ito, ita transfer natin siya sa owner's capital. Closing entries are done after the preparation of financial statements. So in concept, no more transactions or adjustments can be recorded after closing entries. So kung tapos na talaga nakagawa ka na ng financial statements, hindi ka na kailangan mag-record pa ng um, transactions dun sa natapos na year na. Okay? Nagawa mo na adjusting entries, nakagawa ka ng financial statements. Okay? So tapos na. Okay. So that's why we are going to prepare the closing entries. After closing entries, all expense and revenue accounts will have zero balance at the beginning of the new reporting period. Kaya basta pagkatapos ng closing entries, zero na lahat ang inyong uh, expense and revenue accounts. Okay. If this is our income statement, okay, ang magiging basis natin for closing entries. So, ang ibig sabihin, lahat ng credit, i-debit natin. is zero out natin lahat ito. Okay, ang magiging basis natin to income statement. So, to your closing entries will be close the debit. Uh, here first, we will close the credit balances. And credit balance will be the sales, purchase returns, and the income and expense summary. But we will only close these two, sales and purchase returns. And I will discuss to you the income and expense summary of 25000 So we debit sales, 306000 and credit purchase returns, 15000 So our income and, ex and debit, uh, I'm sorry, and credit income and expense summary of 321000 the total of this. Okay, so now if we are going to do this entry, ang ibig sabihin, kinoclose na natin. On the 25,000 here, class, if, we, if you will recall that, ginawa na natin yung entry na yan sa ating inventory. So sa ating inventory, kinlose, we have an inventory beginning of 30,000. Kinlose natin yan. So we have, we have debited income and expense summary of 30,000 and credited inventory of 30,000. So naklose yung beginning. Then we took up the... Uh, count of 55,000 so we debited inventory and credited income and expense summary so yung 25,000 na yan nandi dito na yan sa income and expense summary na 25,000 balance okay so we don't need to close this anymore okay kasi yan ang gagamitin na natin in the closing entries okay ito yung balance ng ating income and expense summary okay as of uh before the closing entries, meron ang balance dyan na 25,000, which is this, this credit. Okay, now let us close our debit balances. So our debit balances, we have to debit the income and expense summary, and we are going to credit this. So i-credit na muna natin para malaman natin kung magkano yung mga, yung total uh, debit balances. So lahat ng debit balances, Iko close na natin. So we are going to credit all the debit balances. Okay. And the total of this is 287,000. Okay. Now, class, if we are going to post this, 
okay, these uh, transactions, kung uh, ipopost natin sa mga T-accounts ng sales, tsaka purchase returns ito, so gamitin na lang natin ito kasi nanggaling naman yung on doon sa, sa general ledger or T-accounts ng, ng bawat account, okay? Sales, there, there will be a debit, kaya zero out na yung sales mo. Purchase returns, there will be a debit, kaya zero, zero out na yung purchase return mo. And then income and expense summary, there is a credit of 321,000, so mapupunta yan dito, Okay? And now for the debit uh, balances, income and expense summary, 287. So, dito siya mapupunta. Okay. And closing all these uh, debit balances, ko-close natin yan. Ko-ilalai, ko-close natin siya. So, lahat yan mapuklose. So, in effect, class, okay, in effect, close na. Okay. Ang open na lang class is if we are going to total this, ang open na lang is, uh, if we have total this, ang open, yung 25,000 nandiyan dyan na yan. Kaya ang, yung 59,000 natin, okay, nanggaling lahat yan dito sa adjustments na to. Okay? Nanggaling sa closing entries. Yung 59,000 na yan. So, in effect, ang open na lang is 59,000 of your income and expense summary. Ito yung profit mo. Yan na lang ang open. Okay? Kasi itong uh, 25,000 uh, kasama natin yan sa uh, dito sa income and expense summary. Okay. So now what we're going to do is close the credit balance. Okay? Cre close the credit balance of this 59,000. Okay. To do that, okay, to do that, um, we are going to debit the income and expense summary and credit the capital. Okay? And um, it is also part of the adjusting entries that you have to close the drawing. So we have to debit the owner's capital and credit the drawing account. So in this case, uh, na-close na rin pati ang drawing. Oh, by the way, class, uh, don't be uh, confused. Itong 25,000 ito, nandi dito na yan sa income and expense summary. Kaya when you close the 59,000, kasama na yung difference. Okay. Okay, now... It's 6 o'clock. For the... Uh, uh, this is the balance sheet accounts okay of 59000 okay so we have here the statement of financial position itong 10 columns natin na na sa balance sheet na we were able to prepare the statement of financial position right uh, i'm just showing it to you okay nagawa na natin ito Okay, itong statement of financial position. Kaya actually, itong statement of financial position nyo, nire-reflect niya yung inyong uh, real and real accounts. Okay? So, this statement of financial position, this was supposed to be, uh, should tie up with your post-closing trial balance. Post-closing trial balance, anong ibig sabihin? Post-closing after the closing entries. Trial balance, ang format is trial balance. Paano bang format ng trial balance? May accounts at debit and credit. Okay? And take note class, this statement of financial position is December 31st, 2019 at the end of the reporting period. And we are preparing the post-closing trial balance on the beginning of the new reporting period. January 1st, 2020. Kaya, Ang, ang magiging balance na lang o makikerry forward sa new reporting period ay mga real and permanent accounts. Ano-ano yun? We have cash, 50,000. We have accounts receivable, 100,000. Then yung corresponding allowance for contra account niya, 8,000. Merchant here, class, sa, post, sa trial balance, we are presenting the debit and credit of the accounts. Kasi yun yung magiging opening balance sa 
uh, bagong reporting period. So merchandise inventory is 55, supplies is 16, prepaid insurance is 3, okay? Then equipment is 120,000, accumulated depreciation will be presented as credit, 12,000, okay? And then we will have accounts payable of 110,000. What else? We have class here. Okay, ang, ang magiging balance na lang ng ating owner's capital will be the ending balance, 214,000. So, ito lang ang, ang, ang magiging opening balance o balance ng bagong year. Wala ka ng mga nominal accounts kasi yung nominal accounts na zero out. So, magre-record na naman tayo for the new year, new reporting period ng ating mga nominal accounts. So, we have to get the total kung balance siya. Yes, it is balanced 344,000. And this is your post-closing trial.